Well, we've had a load of stuff come in from Verlinden Productions and we're going to review them. These have been sent to us by Hysterex agents and this all represents the latest Verlinden releases for the second half of 2015. These all come from April right through to now, which is uh, September. And there's a whole stack of stuff. So to speed things up, we'll just go through them theme by theme. And we'll start off with the diorama products. Diorama wise, we've got this 2821, a water fuel tank. It's 135th scale. You get the tank, some hosing, and of course all the connectors pretty much any period and you can also put it on a vehicle as well would be a great presentation idea for that. What we would say for all these products is the moulding is always up to the Verlinden standard and you can see that with a product like this 2836 old water tower. Most modelers know what to expect from Verlinden, you get good resin, well cast and usually interesting subject matters and this is a great one. It's a proper kit lots of pieces and the pieces are all cleanly cast and make up this rather fabulous old water tap. Here you can see all the pieces in the box. A couple of sort of urban modern releases for your dioramas, both very welcome. 2823 light poles, there's two of those, and 2826 traffic lights, again two of those. The parts are all very well produced. The traffic lights in particular will be very handy and there's some fine detail around the shrouding the light poles you get the bulb section and light itself which is cast in resin as is the base you get a concrete plinth and you get some copper wire to bend them to shape bound to be useful for your modern dioramas this is a simple two-piece resin house ruin up to the usual Verlinden standard you'll need to add furniture for the windows the wood and so on for the frames but 135th scale and beautifully cast. Last time we reviewed some of the utility poles that Verlinden released recently, and this is another set, 2822, another variation. And you get all the insulator detail, two concrete style poles and bases, really handy. Figure wise, we have 2830, Roman Army Conquest in 54 millimeter or 132nd scale. Here you can see all the pieces in the box. This is one of our favourite releases from a few years back and it's good to see it re-emerge every now and then Verlinden Productions re-releases stuff. 2824 Africa Corps Infantry World War II. In this one you get an extremely well cast 120mm figure, good detail on the MP40. You can see we get some photo etch parts as well. There you can see the head and all the other parts. If you're into 120mm and 1 16th scale is your chosen scale, German tank crew winter dress. Three sort of half figures, typical Verlinden style. You get all the earpieces and intercom system. And the winter dress is well done, particularly the headgear. Tank crews in this sort of scale are few and far between, so that's a welcome addition. Aviation fans will love these. We've got very useful sort of ancillary gear for aircraft here. The US Air Force bomb trailer in 148 scale. Fairly simple kit, but beautifully cast. The bombs, of course, are a useful addition. 2829, US Air Force bomb trailer. And also in the same scale, 2832, the US Air Force bomb loader, MJ-1B late. This is a great little kit and uh, appeals probably to not just aircraft modelers, but also armor modelers. Great fun weathering this. Good choice of subject. There's some instructions and about 20 or so resin parts. In a bigger scale, 1 32nd scale, we've got 2828. US Air Force bomb loader MJ-1 late model. There again, joy to build and paint and an earlier version again in 1 32nd scale. And here you can see all the parts laid out. In the sort of a range of armor accessories, 2834 is Fury stowage for Tamiya M4A3E8. Now Verlinder's not the only manufacturer to get on the Fury bandwagon, but this gives you everything you need to create War Daddy's ride in 1 35th scale. 
You also get paper to make up the C ration packs and all the bits that you see on the tank. Great to see this 2825 US World War II water trailer. This is actually quite a complex kit with quite a few parts, so probably not good for a beginner. You have to really know your resin to build this. But with the Italeri water trailer out of production, this is a much more detailed alternative. Plenty of resin parts, 1 35th scale. And if you've got a dragon mouse kicking around in your collection, this impressive little set will allow you to drop in extra detail in the engine and transmission compartments. It's in 1 35th scale, it's 2835, mouse engine and transmission. Worth noting that the engine compartment is really well done. Showcases all the great skills of the Verlinden company. We've got two exceptional kits here that have been released. 2837 is a Gatling gun in 1 32nd scale and 2831 is a German World War II 75mm infantry gun. That's in 1 16th scale. These kits are pretty complex. Again, there's lots of resin parts, tubing and various other bits. There's a jig to build up the wheels. So it's a fairly involved kit that will require a good bit of skill, but the end result looks amazing. It'll make for an impressive piece of weaponry once finished. This 2831 builds up into what we presume is a pretty huge kit if you judge by the size of the wheels. This is gonna be quite a project to build. You'll need a fair bit of skill to remove all the parts, but it should make an impressive model. We believe this is a re-release of an earlier kit, and it's great to see it back. Looks like a really good rendition of this little compact infantry gun. So take a look at all the parts. There's plenty of ammunition and extra little detail bits and instructions to guide you along the way. That rounds off this review of Verlinden's latest releases in 2015. Thanks for watching and bye.